Hello, I'm Chad. Welcome to XBeyond 360's educational series. In this video, we'll cover how lithium batteries are built. The heart of the XBeyond 360 batteries is the lithium iron phosphate internal chemistry. Various lithium battery formulas have been around prior to lithium iron phosphate and were commonly used in power tools, e-bikes, and other electric vehicles. In 1996, however, the University of Texas discovered that phosphate was an optimum cathode material for rechargeable lithium batteries. They found that the combination of lithium and phosphate created good electrochemical performance with low internal resistance. Other primary benefits that soon surfaced were higher current ratings, longer cycle life, thermal stability, and enhanced safety due to its tolerance for abuse. Sounds like the perfect combination for XBeyon 360's RV, Overland, Marine, and Off-Grid Marketplace. Let's take a look at the basic construction of an individual lithium iron phosphate cell. The major parts that make up the cell itself include cathode or positive terminal on discharge, anode or negative terminal on discharge, and separators. The 26650 cylindrical cells that XBN 360 uses in their internal battery packs have a special configuration, nicknamed the jelly roll design. There are four unique layers that literally rolled up like a jelly roll within the cell to conserve space and take advantage of the cylindrical design. The layers are made up of cathode layer, the anode layer, and the separator layers. The separators are porous layers soaked in electrolyte and are used between the cathode and the anode layers to keep them from shorting together while still allowing for electrochemical activity to take place throughout the electrolyte. Now let's look at the theory related to lithium iron phosphate cells. The anode and the cathode are simply electrodes that establish electrical contact with a non-metallic medium of an electrical device where current is either entering or exiting that medium. Their names indicate the direction of current flow. The anode is the electrode where current enters a polarized device, and the cathode is the electrode where current exits a polarized device. During discharge, Lithium ions are transitioning from the anode to the cathode through the electrolyte. The anode undergoes what is called oxidation, or a loss of electrons that travel through the load and perform work. And the cathode undergoes what is called reduction, or gain of electrons coming in from the load. During charging, the whole process and polarities are reversed. During discharge, Lithium ions are transitioning from the anode to the cathode through the electrolyte. The anode undergoes what is called oxidation, or a loss of electrons that travel through the load and perform work. And cathode undergoes what is called reduction, or a gain of electrons coming in from the load. During charging, the whole process and polarities are just reversed. There are two primary configurations of the 26650 cells that XBeyond 360 uses in their batteries. One operates at 3.2 volts direct current and provides 3,400 milliamps of capacity where the other one operates at 3.2 volts DC but provides 4,000 milliamps of capacity. The second 4,000 milliamps capacity cell is one that is used in our XDP or high density packages. Using XBeyond 360's EX-G27-100C 100 amp hour battery as a design goal, let's break down a battery build starting with the internal cells. We shared in our parallel versus series video that when adding batteries in parallel, the voltage remains constant, but the total amp hour capacity increases by the amperage amount held in each battery added. For example, a 100 amp hour battery would need 30 3.2 volts DC times 3.4 amp cells wired in parallel to accumulate 102 amp hours of capacity. In effect, 30 times 3.4 amps equals 102 amp hours. This gives you the desired capacity, but now you have to compensate for the voltage required. Moreover, 
When adding batteries in series, the voltage increases by the voltage rating of each battery added, and the amp hour capacity remains constant. So, for example, a 12.8 volts DC nominal voltage battery would need four 3.2 volts DC times 102 amp hour cell stacks wired in series to yield 12.8 volts DC. In effect, four times 3.2 volts DC equals 12.8 volts DC. To summarize, the final cell configuration looks like four stacks of 30 cells each wired in parallel and finally, those four stacks are then wired in series to achieve the nominal voltage of 12.8 volts DC with an overall capacity of 102 amp hours. Other construction features that set Xpion 360 apart from the competition are oversized brass terminals, symmetrically placed for series or parallel configurations. Cells are welded to a solid, thick copper distribution plate. All terminals are epoxy sealed, certified compliant to UL 1973 and UL 1642. A rugged case rated at UL 94 V-0 fiberglass infused ABS case and custom no slip tight end points. Using Xbeyond 360's EX-G27 dash 100 C 100 amp hour battery again as an example here are the technical specifications as you can see there are even more specs related to charge discharge mechanical temperature parameters and compliance x beyond 360 slogan for their battery construction is built to last this is evident in every element that makes up one of their batteries including Exterior case, internal cells, internal wiring, cell installation, battery management system, or BMS, overall design and manufacturing control, compliant safety. The Xbeon 360 battery case is constructed of fiberglass infused ABS, or thermoplastic polymer. It features custom, no slip tie down points to ensure all the internal battery components stay in place regardless of the orientation that the battery is installed in. The corners are purposely rounded to create strength and absorb shock. The bottom of the case utilizes rubber feet to reduce sliding and vibration if the battery is installed right side up. The battery connection terminals are oversized brass pads that are symmetrically placed so that batteries can easily be configured in parallel or series configurations. In its completed form, the Xbeyond 360's battery is 50% lighter than the competition's equivalent lead-acid battery. The individual lithium iron phosphate cells are of the highest quality and proven efficiency. The standard 26650 cell is rated at 3.2 volts DC and 3400 milliamps, but they also have a 3.2 volt DC and 4000 milliamp version for their high density XDP line. The internal wiring is installed with the intention of outlasting Xpion 360's 12 year warranty. All connections are mechanical, not soldered and epoxy sealed to ensure that the torque specifications are maintained. The wiring is well thought out for safety, balanced performance, and efficiency. The cells are configured into parallel wired stacks that are eventually wired together in series configuration. The stacks are created by welding the cells to thick, solid copper distribution plates, which creates an extremely robust method of attachment. The BMS is a high-performance device that protects the battery, the owner, and the owner's investment. It has the ability to mitigate under and over voltage issues, under and over temperature extremes, short circuit events, auto reset capability, and much more. Xbeyond 360 has complete control over all design, modification, and manufacturing processes. All production and update decisions are designated to the Redmond, Oregon Home Office Engineering and Management staff. 
When you add up all the features of the Xpion 360 battery line, it comes as no surprise that our proven safety track record is demonstrated by the impressive compliance ratings. UL1642, the standard for lithium cells covering manufacturing, performance, and testing. UL1973, the standard for safety related to all batteries for use in stationary and motive auxiliary power applications. UL94V-0, the standard for plastics flammability. UN3480, the standard for safe transportation of lithium batteries. Thank you for watching our battery build video. To view other product videos, user manuals, and specification sheets, visit xbeyond360.com.